Welcome to the Easy Computer Fixes channel. In this Windows 7 Tips and Tricks video, we will show you how to properly remove a USB thumb drive from Windows 7. Now, as you see here, I have my thumb drive plugged in on my laptop, which it says Kingston F. Now, one of the things that you need to do if you want to remove it is to, of course, go into Windows and tell it that you want to remove the drive. You cannot just pull on it. If you do, you know, a lot of people do it actually. If you just remove it from the computer, most of the time it's still going to work, but very often it can cause some problem. So to eject a USB thumb drive, simply go into their taskbar at the bottom of your computer. Now, you, there, very often the eject button is or icon is not visible. What you'll need to do is click that little arrow to show hidden icons. And here you'll have a little USB plug with a green check mark. And it says safely remove hardware and eject media. You need to do this before you remove external hard drives and USB thumb drives. Simply click. Here you'll have your hard drive visible or your USB thumb drive. In my case, it's a Kingston. I'll eject Data Traveler 2. And once it says safe to remove hardware, then and only then you can remove it from the computer. Now, in the case where it would say, uh, well, I can't remove it or it's being used by another, um, another software, make sure, first of all, that all of the windows that are open on your computer are closed. Make sure you have no running programs that you've left open. If it still doesn't want to eject, what you can try is just reboot your computer by letting the key plugged in. Very often after a reboot, it will let you eject the key. And if all fails and it really doesn't want to eject, um, then it, there could be some kind of process in Windows that is using it. So the best thing you could do is reboot in safe mode in the computer. And from safe mode, you should be able to remove it. Another thing you can do if the um, USB thumb drive or the hard drive cannot be removed is simply shut down the computer. And once it's completely off, then you can remove safely because it will be ejected automatically since the operating system and your computer has shut down. Hope these uh, Windows 7 tips and tricks videos help you. If you uh, like our videos, why not subscribe to our channel? You'll be informed when new videos are online. If you have any comments, questions, or anything else about Windows 7, Windows 8, Windows 10, Windows XP, Vista, Mac OS X, um, whatever, let us know and we'll try to post a video online.